I'm ready for the kitchen. Now what do I need to do? Yes. Wash your hands. How long do I wash my hands for? Everybody should know. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Or sing the ABCs. Or the ABCs or the birthday song. You got it. Okay, you guys. Here's how the sinks are set up in this kitchen. This here on the wall is the hand soap. You use it for washing your hands, okay? This is the dish soap. Please only use this for dishes. Please don't wash your hands with this stuff, okay? It's more expensive than what's on the wall here, okay? Paper towels are right here. Of course, you know that. You wash your hands with hot or cold water? Hot, 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 hot water, okay? For the soap, 20 seconds. I'm not going to actually do 20 seconds. That might bore you. Last hour, they sang happy birthday to me. Okay. You don't have to do that. <laughs> you can. Okay. 20-ish seconds, right? Get all the soap rinse off. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to give your hands a good few shakes, okay? And then you should only need one or two paper towels to dry with. Please don't be the person who gets like 14 paper towels and throws a lot of paper towels away in the garage, okay? That would be Cooper. All right. Now I'm ready to go for the kitchen. The next thing I would do is I would sit at the table and I would wait for Mrs. Anderson, myself, to come over and talk about the recipe before I get it. Okay? All right. A couple things you need to know about the kitchens. Up on the wall here um, is a printout of all of the kitchen positions and what each kitchen position does for the day. Is everybody with me up here? Okay, you're probably gonna wanna know. So. Um, when you're dishwasher one, if you're like, uh-oh, I forgot, what does dishwasher one do? You can look up here and read about it, okay? Remember, the knife drawer is located right here. Sorry, lady. Just the one knife drawer for the two units, okay? Then we have the little miniature dishwashers, which we will use once in a while, okay? So the main things we put in here are the things that we eat off of. So forks, bowls, cups, plates, stuff like that go in the dishwasher, okay? Um, the big things, like the cutting boards and the big bowls and that, we will wash by hand, okay? Who's washed the dishes by hand before in your life? Okay, good. Okay, I don't mean like rinse and load in the dishwasher. Yeah? I mean like wash them fully by hand? Okay, right on. Okay, good. You guys will be experts. Um, okay, as far as the sink goes, we have this big gray thing underneath the sink. Do you know what that is? Not a water purifier. What? Garbage disposal, okay? You can use the garbage disposal when you're getting rid of chunks of food, okay? So if you scrape your plate or whatever on this side of the sink, okay? Um, the switch is right here on the wall. What do you have to run when you are running the garbage disposal? Water. You know, Cadence? Water. Water, okay? So you turn the water on, flip the switch. It's a lovely sound, huh? It'll get rid of the chunks of food, okay? What happens if you scrape your plate or your food on this other side of the sink? What's going to happen? You try not to clean it up by hand. Yeah, it's going to get clogged, and then you have to clean it up by hand. Yeah, someone in your class group gets to reach in there, pull the chunks of food off, throw them away. Really gross, right? So please don't scrape your food over here, on this side or in the garbage can over here. Everybody with me so far? Yep. Okay. All right. Um, so here's how we do dishes in here. In this class, we wash dishes in these white buckets. Has anybody ever seen people do that at home? The white bucket at the lake. Okay. Yeah. It's for a couple reasons. Number one, it's a little bit cleaner and more sanitary. So, a lot of people thaw frozen meat in the sink. I don't know if you've ever seen your parents do that before. And you wouldn't want to have raw meat in the sink where you're washing dishes. You could imagine that would be kind of gross, right? So, this is for dishes and only for dishes. It's reserved for that, and so that's a little bit cleaner way to do your dishes. Mm -hmm. Also, it conserves water, so we don't use as much water to fill up our, our sink, or it doesn't take as much water to fill up the bucket, okay? So, this bucket goes on the left side, and we'll put hot, soapy water in there. We rinse the dishes on the right side with hot water, okay? Um, and then we set up our drying rack the furthest right. It goes right on the edge like that, okay? Do you see how the drying rack has like a little lip right here? Everybody yeah. see that? Kind of curved? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's where the water leaks out. Exactly. What happens if you set it on top of the counter like that, do you think? What happens, Mackenzie? The water will go onto the uh, hot surface. Yeah, the water will go onto the counter and then eventually onto the floor and then we have a hot mess to clean up, okay? 
you need to make sure the lip of the drying rack is going into the sink like that. Okay? All right. So we turn on our water. We make sure it gets good and hot or very warm, right? You do about one, two seconds squeeze of soap. And you fill your bucket about halfway with water, okay? It should be soapy, or excuse me, it should be like bubbly, foam, okay? Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. If it's not, then you might need to add a little bit more water, okay? All right. Now that my water's ready, what am I going to wash with? Like, used to wash. Do you know? Wait, do you guys you know? You're going to use either a scrubber or a washer. Scrubber or washer. Like in this class, we have dishcloths and dish towels. I need two dishcloths, two dish towels, okay? i got to walk over and grab them, so we're going to have to What's we use the through difference here. between them? I will show you. Okay. You see where they're located? These white stackable things over here. You with me, yeah. wife? Mm -hmm. Okay. Dishcloths are on top. I'm grabbing two, and then dish towels are in the middle, and I'm also grabbing two of those. Okay. All right. Dishcloths are small and square. They are for washing, and they are for wiping things down, like the table and the counter. That goes right into my hot soapy water. Okay. Dishcloths, long, rectangular. They are for drying. Everybody with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, there we go. I'm all set up, ready to wash a dish, okay? Yes. Why do you need two of each? Why do you need two of each? Um, one dish cloth for washing the dishes, one dish cloth for wiping things down, like your cooks will wipe everything, all the surfaces where they were prepping food, okay? And then two dish cloths because we typically end up using two, like this one will get pretty wet, like halfway through the dishes, and then you just switch and give it a dry one. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. All right. So, to wash a dish, these are the lovely bowls that you get to wash, okay? Pretend like they're really dirty, like we just ate. Ew. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, good There's one. Saliva. Mac and cheese, yeah, saliva, right? <laughs> okay, you put it down into the bucket of water, okay? Make sure bubbles are getting on it. You scrub all the edges. Make sure all the mac and cheese is out of it, okay? Then we turn on our warm water. We rinse all the bubbles off. Make sure all the chunks of food are off, okay? And then typically people just dry things immediately and put them away right away, okay? But if you are like really busy doing the dishes and you kind of need to just stack some things in here for, for a couple minutes, you can leave it in the drying rack for a bit, okay?